In previous two lessons, we learned plural of possessive pronouns. In this lesson and following two lessons, we will learn plural of uh, demonstrative pronouns, of interrogative pronouns, and other characterizing words. All of these words will be very important in Russian language. We use it a lot, and uh, those words are on the frequency lists. Maybe you won't find them because those words separately do not have particular meaning. However, we use them quite often within the um, context of uh, language, within texts or dialogues, and you probably already met them, uh, even in my lessons, quite a few times. Well, what's my suggestion for you? Because those will be a lot of words uh, without any context binding. So I would rather prefer you to watch this video, to understand where these words are coming from, to repeat them after me, and to write them down in the structure I'm giving you. And uh, after one or two weeks, maybe after one month, to come over to this lesson. Actually, come over to some of the lessons you think are important, or especially those I'm telling you are important. Come over and watch them. Every time you will come here, in the period of time, you will learn a little bit more. And this is what, what will help you, and this is what will bring you ahead. So, and well, in this lesson, let's start with demonstrative pronouns. We already learned them. And uh, well, I will give you again the masculine, feminine, and the neutral form of um, demonstrative pronoun. And we will also make the plural form. And again, plural is only one. So for masculine, feminine, and neutral, we get three different words or words with changing endings. For plural, it will be only one word. Why again? Well, because we lose the gender. Once we make a plural of a noun, uh, we just get one gender, basically no gender. So the plural will have only one word. And let's start with this. This would be etat. Etat. So we already learned this. And uh, what could be etat? Let's take dom. This house. Okay, dom. Dom is masculine. So, and you can imagine, etat, dom. We will continue with some other demonstrative pronouns and you can apply it to dom. However, in your, um, if, I, if I would be you, I would suggest you to pick some uh, nouns that you're learning right now and use this uh, demonstrative pronouns. To your noun, so you will uh, you will need to recognize the gender of the noun and apply uh, demonstrative pronouns. So, этот дом, this house. For feminine, это, это, это машина. Машина is car. Ma, she, na. Машина ends in a can only be feminine. Это машина can only be feminine except for exceptions. You remember, papa, father, is masculine, ends in a, however, it's masculine. So, машина ends in a, it's feminine. So, это машина. This car, это машина. For neutral, это. Это. Это окно. Ок. Но. Это окно. Ends in o, it's neutral. We learned it quite a few times. And for plural, this, this is something new in this lesson because это, 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 we already learned a few lessons ago. For plural, it would be эти. эти. So, эти дома, эти машины, эти окна. For дом, ends in consonant. And for masculine words ending in consonant, one option to create a plural would be adding a in the end. Дома. Houses. Машина. For feminine. А is replaced with ы. Машины. Ма. Ши. Ны. Standard case. А is replaced with ы. For feminine word. And окно, окна, о is replaced with a, also a standard case, окна. Ок, на. О becomes a for neutral. So, эти машины, this cars. Эти окна, this windows. Эти дома, this houses. 
uh, the next demonstrative pronoun would be tot, those, tot. So tot dom, this house, this house over there, over there. Etat, this house here. Tot, this house over there. Tot dom. Tan. So eta would be this here. Ta would be this there. Ta machina. This car over there. Ta machina. For neutral, to. Eta akno, this window here. To akno, this window over there. To akno. And for plural, we would have te. Te dama, those houses. Te machine, those cars. And te okna, those windows. Now, takoi. Takoi, this kind. Takoi. Ta. Koi. Takoi dom, this kind of house. Takaya. Ta. Ka, yeah, такая машина, this kind of car. Такое, такое окно. Та, ко, е, такое окно, this kind of window. For plural, for plural we'll have такие. Та, ки, е, такие. This kind of houses, такие дома, такие машины, такие окна, this kind of windows. Taki machine, this kind of cars. Write for yourself, write the scheme. It is very useful. It is very useful to know those words and uh, try to remember them. I, I'm saying try to remember, don't force yourself into memorizing them. Now let's take the last one. The last one will be takoi je. The same kind of takoi je. Ta koi je. Takoi je. For feminine, it would be такая же, такая же, and такое же, такое же. So, такой, такая, такое, uh, this kind of, this kind of car, this kind of home, такой дом, такой же is the same kind of, so, the same kind of, so we got two houses, the same kind of, такой же дом. We know another house and uh, такой же дом would be the same kind of. Такой дом, this kind of. I hope uh, you understand the difference between the meanings. So такой дом, this kind of house. Такой же, meaning the same kind of. So такой же дом. Uh, what would happen in plural? Well, you guessed it, такие же. Такие же. Такие же. Такие же дома, the same kind of houses. Такие же машины, the same kind of cars. Такие же окна, the same kind of windows. Probably we'll come across this же and такие же, такое же a little bit later because I want to use it in uh, discussions, in uh, dialogues and in texts, at least for the next, uh, I don't know how many lessons, until probably even the end of um, A1 level. However, for you it's important to know because I'm assuming you will use also other materials. And some people, some teachers are thinking it's important to have uh, all kind of demonstrative pronouns and uh, give you, um, yes, present them to you. So they will use it and I hope uh, if you will remember my lesson, you will say, okay, this J is coming from, um, from this demonstrative pronoun.